Welcome back into Movement Parallels Life. I'm Kellen Mylad, happy to bring you another primal movement ground practice that's going to help you improve your mobility, stability, and body control. Today, I'm going to take you through a series of 10 different movements. We'll spend 35 seconds with each movement and we'll perform two consecutive rounds. The movements that we're working with today are simple and generally very accessible, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're easy. Make any modifications that you need to make to make the movements work for you. I'll be calling out the switches from movement to movement, but otherwise I won't be doing a lot of cueing in this one. These movements are generally very safe and intuitive, and if you've been practicing with me before, you'll be familiar with many of these movements from previous videos. For more in-depth programs and classes, check out my training app after the video. The link is down below in the description. So let's get into it today. We're starting off round one with alternating supine bridge reaches. Lower your hips, come into a tuck position, and transition into rotational rocking. Rock up and into a side sit position. We'll continue on with hip switches. Next up, we've got figure four shifts to half kneeling. Don't hesitate to use rocking momentum or a posted arm to assist the movement. Next, transition into a crawling march. Start by softly marching your hands, and when you're ready, transition into an opposite hand foot march. For the next interval, stay in your crawl position and transition to alternating hip rotations. Next, transition into diving push-ups or a push-up variation of your choice.
Lower down to a prone position and next we're on to arch ups. Roll over onto your back and next we'll transition into straight leg raises. And now for the final movement in the series, we'll transition to supine cross crawling. Round one is complete and we're gonna flow right into round two. Transition back to alternating supine bridge reaches. Lower your hips and transition into rotational rocking. Rock up and into side sit hip switches. Next up is the figure four shift to half kneeling. Next transition to the crawl march. Maintain your crawl position and we're back to alternating hip rotations.
Next, we're on to diving push-ups or any push-up variation of your choice. Lower down to a prone position and we're back to arch body lifts. Flip over and continue on with supine straight leg raises. And lastly, finish the series with the supine cross crawl. That's time and our practice today is complete. Excellent work. While we're here, I encourage you to take another minute or two to finish up your practice however you see fit or just keep flowing for a while. I also wanna share a few insights because two common questions that I get asked are, one, is body weight training alone enough? And two, are these practices all that I do in my fitness? And what I'll say is that there are no definite answers, but it all depends on the context of your unique life, your past experiences, your personality, and your specific goals. For me personally, I like to train and challenge my body in different ways, and that includes weightlifting. It's something that's been a part of my life for a long time, and I truly love it. And to me, where these mobility flows fit in and really excel is in bridging the gap between our fitness goals and our everyday lives. I do these practices nearly every day to maintain healthy joints and supple muscles so that I can keep moving in all the ways that I love for as long as possible. And I share these practices with you because I'm confident that when you're consistent with these foundational types of movements, you'll experience a myriad of positive benefits across your life. So I hope that shed some additional light on what this is about and where I'm coming from. But I appreciate you coming to move with me today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and check out the links below. Come back again soon. We'll do it again and I'll see you in the next practice.